take a moment to show everybody where we are with the camper build. Mm -hmm. So far we have removed both the double doors and made one single entrance door and used a garage handle door latch for the handle. We've got our outside power run and this would be the vent for the air condition. On the inside we've got two bearable locks to keep anyone from coming in at night. We've got a welcome mat. Over here we have our custom built cabinet. It houses our air conditioning unit. When we're not using air, like right now, it works to hold the heater. We've got light switches mounted. One for the lights inside. And then these other two we're going to be using to put lights on the outside. One for security and one maybe rope lights. We have three regular outlets. Inside the cabinet, we have our air condition and first aid kit. The air condition is run with duct to the back for ventilation. We haven't really had to use this yet, but we're excited about it. And we've got it mounted with screws at the top to make sure that it doesn't move while we're driving. The heat and air is run on separate outlets that are reserved just for them. And the breakers are down here. Then we went to Lowe's and bought these cobalt tracks. They're made for storing things in garages, but they work good in trailer too. They come with all these different size hooks. So we've got two of these mounted on each side. We use it to hold our shower bags, pocketbook, Russell's bags, anything like that. And then on this side, we went with two of the mesh baskets. One basket for all of Russell's stuff and then one for miscellaneous items that we use while we're camping. And another hook so we hang up our coats and stuff. And then an extra hook over here that we can just hang up whatever. Down in this area is where Legless sleeps at night. We put her cage in, it fits perfect, and she's safe from any kind of predator that way. Installed the rope lights, which are very nice. They make it the perfect amount of light at night, just so you can see. They're set on dim right now. They have several dimming options. And they reflect off of the roof, which is just barn tin that we bought at Lowe's and installed. So it looks kind of like twinkling lights at night. Up top we have our full-size bed. It's a blow-up air mattress and it is on a track that slides in and out. We can condense it into a twin size and use it as a bench for extra seating if we want or it can be folded completely up against the wall to have more room in the trailer. Up under this is the twin size bed that Russell sleeps on. It's an air mattress as well. He likes it because it's kind of like a little cave for him and he likes that kind of thing. And it keeps him out of the way so he doesn't get stepped on. We don't have to worry about tripping on him, which is nice. And he's still close so we know he's warm or cool or whatever. And even with both the beds set up, we still have room for two small camp chairs. And we use those occasionally if it's raining or really cold outside. We might come in and set the tablet up on the cabinet or on a little table and watch movies. 
or just relax before going to bed. So yeah, that's our camper build out so far. We're still working on it. We're still going to add some more lights outside and working on a couple other little projects for the inside. But so far it's worked really good and we're really happy with it. And our camp kitchen. We got two Plano boxes to store all of the food and drinks and a metal trash can after having animals get in the trash we decided to go with one with a lid coolers toolbox on the front of the trailer that holds our camp oven Propane, propane heaters, saws, extra lantern, drop cords, chucks for the tires, and blocks for setting up the camp. Then over here in the truck, we have firewood and empty boxes for dirty clothes and such, things that we don't use while we're camping but need to carry everything home. Here's Ken's truck. It's custom built. Outlets on the outside. The Hillbilly Ranger. Hunter edition. Fully built out. With a full size bed. Outlets on both sides. A headboard. Drink holder. And small fan. Or heater rather. Small heater. And a second one just in case. Shelves or storage, drop cords, and his powers run out through the bottom. And the custom built table that mounts on the side. The coffee station, utensils. Water. It's a pretty good little setup.